Hi Capricorn, welcome to mid-November general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Capricorn. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Capricorn. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Capricorn and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear and set the energy for you guys and just tap in and see if there's any meditation messages for you. But if you just want to jump right into the card poll, go ahead and check out the pinned comment with the timestamps below. All right, Capricorn, let's see what Spirit has to say. Wow, how do I make of this? Okay, so what I first saw was like a sand dollar, like, you know, from the ocean and stuff. And then it turned into like a compass. And then I heard, I'm sorry. I wonder with the sand dollar, if it's kind of like something from your past or someone from your past is trying to, is thinking of you Capricorn, is like psychically, telepathically connecting with you. And... I also, from it being the compass, like I do feel like they're manifesting you. They're trying, hopefully, by connecting with your energy in that sense that you're thinking of them, that by having them on your mind, it will prompt you to reach out. Like I'm really feeling that way. And then with I'm sorry, like there is someone that wants to genuinely apologize to you, maybe of an old version of themselves, maybe from something that they did that they've always regretted that led to your separation. So let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say for you, Capricorn. And with the cards, I am tuning into an energy that's in and around your psychic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you right now in this moment, whether you are single or taken, whether you're currently in a connection with this energy or in separation. Let's see what energy wants to come through for you and why. Okay, so we do have attraction here. Yeah, someone around you, whether that was the ghost from the past or even what you're dealing with currently, like there's multiple energies that could be strongly attracted to you right now, Capricorn. And this is just someone that wants to make their attraction known to you. And it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I'm feeling kind of Capricorn, like a come hither type of energy. If you want it, come get it. I'm not going to be chasing. I replace. And some energy has definitely taken notice of that. I'm seeing the letter I as an Ian, Isabel, first, middle, last initial meaning something to someone, but I'm also seeing a name ending with an I. Uh, it could be a nickname even too. But yeah, the attraction for you is still very, very strong. And I do kind of get the sense that people are having their eye on you, hoping that they can get a chance, get in a connection. And for some of you, this is definitely someone from your past that's still interested. I see someone that likes to wear a kimono or has a kimono at home they throw on after a long day at work or something like that. Tell me more about this energy with Capricorn in November. Ooh, excited. Okay. And it says elated, thrilled, and enthusiastic. I kind of get a sense here. For some of you with that past energy, they see you're moving on. They see you're doing well. Okay, I wonder if some of you guys had sort of some sort of glow up, had some sort of spiritual transformation, is just on a high vibrating level, and someone is wanting to take you out on a date, and your past person heard about it, or your past person sees it on social media, and they're really bummed out because you really did replace them in some sort of aspect. And I'm not trying to be insensitive. 
I'm just seeing the energy as it is because someone here is very excited to kind of get ready to go out to meet up with someone. I wonder, Capricorn, if very recently someone's asked you on a date and you said yes, and they're like really hyped about it, pumped up about it, hoping that they can really impress you because they've had their eye on you for a bit, whoever this new excited energy is. And maybe Capricorn, it's your crush that you're hoping to ask you out and they will and they do. And you're excited that your manifestation worked. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Capricorn. Someone just bought a new cologne or a new perfume as well. We have, I left when I saw you with someone. I left when I saw you with someone. Yeah. So, okay, we could take that verbatim, right? Maybe they were going to reach out to you until they saw on social media or heard about you dating, being off with someone new, and then they kind of slid away out of embarrassment, out of shame, or, you know, kind of realizing that there's no point to it now. But I'm kind of also getting a sense that uh, just in general, like, they really realized they lost you to someone. They could have had you. You would have been there. You would have been down for them they used you carelessly is kind of what it feels here. They didn't realize you were a diamond until it was too late. It's kind of what I'm getting from this. And now someone else is like partaking in the revelry of what they could have had with you and it's really bothering them in a sense. Wow, yeah, someone's really bothered here that you are attracted, uh, attracting a lot of new energy around you. But I think Capricorn, you know, and you tap into their energy every once in a while, especially because they send it your way, but you've been better at shaking it off. You've been better at being like, oh, well, hi, but bye. <laughs> I'm kind of still doing my own thing. Thank you for entering my energy, but return to sender type of thing. And that telepathic psychic connection that you guys once had is getting weaker by the day as you are excited to move on to new ventures, honestly. And I do feel you are going to be asked to go out on a date very, very soon if you haven't already, especially if some of you guys are going back home for the holidays in North America. And, um, you know, there's someone that has been having a crush on you for a while and they see that you're in the same area, you're back home and that's when they want to ask you out. But anyway, let's go into this and see whose energy is going to come out the most for you guys. And with this, I'm going to ask, how do they feel about you right now? What do they think of you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection that they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in this in regards to this connection with you, Capricorn? What are they really hoping is going to happen and unfold between the two of you? And what are they afraid of? Ooh, my goodness, Capricorn. First of all, we have very strong fire energy, particularly Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries or you could have strong Aries in your chart. It does not have to be the case. But uh, someone is taking this opportunity with you and they're running with it. The one that's stepping up and the other person that is just seeing that you guys are moving forward and going ahead with something. They're jealous as hell. Strong fire energy. Like you bring out of this like energy that now is bummed that you're with someone else. Like you bring out a jealousy no one else can bring out within them. Truly. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the nine of wands. Yeah, Sagittarius energy. Honestly, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll count the Emperor. Six of the cards on the table right now are fire wand energy out of the eight. So there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of inspiration here. But then on the downside, that could also be jealousy. That could also be anger, uh, temptation, let's just say. But with this nine of wands, you've kept yourself separate, Capricorn. Even if you felt their energy around you, even if they tried to reach out to you, you stonewalled them. And you know it's because they put you through a lot. You know it's because even when you give them a chance, there's something else that comes about that makes you guys separate again. So this time around, you really held your boundaries with this person. 
And even if they tried to give in, you didn't bite the bait. Or even at those times where you wanted to reach out, you're like, no, I know this is not going to turn well for me. And you stayed strong, Capricorn. You stayed strong knowing your worth and how it can't be used again, how it can't be undervalued again. And by realizing that, that maybe that's what the past person kind of treated you like, whether that was their intentions or not, it's grown you stronger in your discernment. Someone could be very tall, whether this is the person I'm talking to or you, like definitely like 5'9 to 6'4-ish. But let's go ahead and dive right on in. How someone feels about you right now is the emperor. This is Aries energy, strong masculine energy. Um, so the one who's excited, right, that you are talking to them, giving attention, maybe will be accepting a date, they want to impress you. They want to put this on lock. They have plans, Capricorn. And they're very mature. They're very responsible. This is someone who makes good money. This is someone who's a leader. This is someone who likes to call the shots. Um, I'm seeing someone that likes to smoke a cigar or maybe a blunt. And uh, I think their masculine energy is something that very much is uh, attracting you to them. Because I think you kind of have that same boss type of energy. But, you know, you need someone to kind of match you in that space, not be intimidated by it. This could also be, for some of you, a manager or a boss. Just throwing that out there as well. But I kind of feel for most of you, this is someone who could be much older than you. But definitely has their own money, definitely pays the rent, pays the bills, owns nice things, and does what they can to kind of sustain the luxury, the happiness, the discipline in their life. And I think you are looking for someone that's more disciplined and maybe... With that past energy, they weren't very disciplined. They made stupid choices, got into third parties, and that's what you're kind of over and done dealing with. There are people who are not grown, who are not mature. But with this excited energy, yeah, they're feeling like this is their opportunity to put you on lock, Capricorn. But I gotta say, this past energy that tries to butt in, they still see you as theirs. They're very possessive of you. That's something you need to be aware of, Capricorn. What they think about this connection, think about you, is the Five of Wands. So obviously, if this is the older energy, they know there's competition. And again, hearing about you uh, dating someone else or flirting with someone else or the potential of that happening, they get riled up they get pissed. I even feel like this person did their research on the person that they think you're with, like looked up their social media, Googled their name, looked up their LinkedIn. Even for some of you, they crossed that line of even trying to add them on social media. And it was kind of weird, kind of strange. Now, if this is just the newer energy, yeah, they're kind of conflicted here because they do want to impress you, Capricorn. And I think they're kind of right now going through like, what shirt should I wear? What restaurant should I take to? Uh, what should we do afterwards? And they're kind of just putting a lot of pressure on themselves to make this happen with you, honestly. But they know there's competition. They know that there are people who want you and they want to stand out. There is also someone that could be into um, MMA, mixed martial arts, jiu-jitsu, kickboxing as a hobby or as a career. What they like the most about you is the Ace of Wands. Some of you could have a fire rising or a fire moon sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you have strong sex appeal. You are definitely someone people will look at and be like, damn, there's an energy about them that's sexy, attractive. And I feel like Capricorn, if there's someone you're interested in, you know how to seduce them. You know how to turn them on. You know how to excite them. 
uh, you definitely arouse a lot of people. We'll just leave it at that for YouTube, okay? But yeah, there is, uh, you spark a lot of interest with this Ace of Wands energy. Uh, for some of you with all the cards I'm seeing here, uh, the past definitely misses your body and parts of your body that they thought were the best that they've ever had. And uh, I do feel with this Ace of Wands energy, you always post really sexy pictures if you do have like a social media that you use frequently. And you're still looking good. You still got it, Capricorn. What they don't like about you is the devil. Capricorn energy. Some of you could have multiple Capricorn placements, but uh, yeah. You are seductive. You are intoxicating to be around. You are someone that uh, people kind of get obsessed with a bit and a little bit too much to where it's hard to control. And um, yeah, with the devil, I'm definitely feeling big time temptation here, especially from that past energy. You arise a jealousy. Uh, you, you know, and again, this could just be this past person placing blame on you, that's not anything you need to account yourself for. But it's like they say and tell other people, like Capricorn just brings a different side out of me. Capricorn just brings this like person that I don't recognize or something like that. But yeah, I, I think just the fact that there's still so much sexual energy around you, Capricorn, with the old, with the new, people get obsessed kind of quick. And it kind of stumbles them up a bit. Yeah, and you get people like jealous in a way that they've never been jealous before. And someone does have like an amazing body. And it makes the other person want to work on theirs so they can, you know, you wouldn't judge them for that Capricorn. For some, not all, right? What they like the most about this connection is the Ace of Pentacles. Remember when I was talking about that diamond? Here it is, okay? There are two Aces here. Your birthday could be January 1st, January 11th, maybe December 31st or December 21st for some of you guys. But uh, for some of you where this is that newer energy, yeah, they like the fact that you accepted their offer, that you're just as interested in them as they are in you. But you are one to be valued. You are one to be, uh, you know, you're a dime, to say it quite frankly with this Ace of Pentacles. And they want to treat you well. They know you would treat them well. And I almost feel like for someone here, um, gifts or buying gifts is someone's money language. And maybe someone already purchased you a gift or you gave them a gift that they really liked and they were surprised by. Again, I feel in some of that way it was too impressed to show like, hey, if you want to give me a shot, look at how I could treat you, what I could spend on you. Because there is someone here, like I felt from the beginning, likes nice things, nice clothes, nice furniture, nice cars. And it's not a bad thing per se, but it's definitely one where uh, they know they have to keep it up. And I think, too, with the emperor here, there is someone that can make a good amount of money. So aside from that, there could be someone who takes care of themselves, who um, isn't, you know, codependent on anyone because they make their own. Definitely someone that ha could have started their own business, their own company, even, as far as that goes. But yeah, even if this is the past energy, Capricorn... I kind of feel with this Ace of Pentacles that they know you were the one they should have put more effort in, put it, should have put more time in, because when they had you, you were loyal. You were someone that gave a lot into this. And they haven't found anyone that has given as much as you have, Capricorn. Potential, worth. What they don't like about this connection is the Six of Wands. 
Leo energy. So obviously, if this is the past, yeah, that uh, you're still looking damn good. You are doing your own thing. You are in your own lane. You are shining in your own lane. People are paying attention to you. People are noticing you. People are attracted to you. And it riles them up. It really does. And for others of you where this is the newer energy, yeah, I think uh, they already may notice that people are hitting on you, whether they see that on social media or like they go up to go to the bathroom and they see some strangers already striking up conversation with you. They know uh, that it's going to be a challenge to have you stay with them or to still be impressed by them. That's something that they kind of find a difficult in maintaining with you honestly Capricorn they feel as if whether you know this or not or whether it's true or not they could imagine or think that a lot of people would be out there to get you and swoop you up if they don't do enough to keep you interested to keep you intrigued someone could be a little bit competitive I gotta say and even someone could have figured that out through playing like a board game or a drinking game or something like that and uh yeah, I think it's a challenge for some. Highest hopes is the eight of wands, Sagittarius energy. So if this is the newer energy, they're hoping to keep the connection going. They hope it could go to new levels. They want the passion to stir up because, again, the sexual energy you carry is one that people seek out. Uh, you're just naturally gifted with it in some way. I wonder if you have like Mars energy very strongly or Pluto energy very strongly in your chart. But with this Eight of Wands, the new energy is hoping to keep things excited, keep things going, that uh, they're hoping that plans will follow through and that no one's going to bail or skip out on them. And for those of you where this is the past energy, yeah, I do feel like it's kind of like they're sending those arrows your way, Capricorn. Because, you know, in the traditional Rider Waite Smith or even this depiction here, if you need to pause and go ahead, it looks like, you know, wands coming in out of nowhere, directing it in some way. And I do feel, again, like they're hoping that through sending their energy your way, you would be re inspired to re spark a connection that uh, ended between the two of you. They're, the old past is also hoping that you don't notice how much that they're on your social media as they really are, Capricorn. But the biggest fears, deepest fears, is the King of Wands, Leo energy. Um, so what I kind of feel about this is a bit of stubbornness. And that's how they see it, whether that's justified or not. It's like, you made up your mind, you're done with the past, bored with the past. You're looking for new ways to excite you, new ways to thrill you. And anything from the past is not in one of those options. You are focused on planning new goals, planning new opportunities for yourself. And they hate to see you doing so well without them, honestly. And then I feel for others of you where this is newer energy, um, they have a lot to work up to they're afraid of. That you are someone that they need to really uh, capture before you get bored, before you get disinterested, before you're on to the next. And um, I do have to be honest here. If there is like double masculine energies, and again, we're not talking about sex or gender. We're talking about energy. And we all have divine masculine or feminine, but we mostly have a dominant one of those two. So if you are finding yourself in like a double masculine type of connection, they're afraid you guys may bump heads in some way because both of you want to call the shots. Both of you have a preference and both of you will make those known. 
All right, Capricorn, to see the likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to happen and unfold from now to the end of the month that you need to be aware of, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome. Just pull some more tarot oracle cards to dive deeper into this. So if you still have questions, let's get those answered now. If you want to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box of this video and you will find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart, Capricorn, I really hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope it gave you the clarity, confirmation, insight, and guidance that you were looking for in regards to your love life. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Capricorn, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Capricorn.